Hello there folks, Spunky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, continuing our Lawn Mowing Simulator Challenge coverage with the second Ancient Britain Challenge from the Ancient Britain DLC, The Historic Land. Uh, just right off the bat, forgive my ignorance, I do not know what landmark this is referencing, if it is indeed referencing a, a, a real landmark. Uh, just going to get that out of the way first. Um, we are going to be using a decent mower, not great, but not bad at all. Um, and it is a fuel limit challenge, so as always, don't worry about the fuel limit. They always give you enough fuel to uh, finish the challenge as long as you mow optimally. And since it's a fuel challenge, we're also going to be taking advantage of the fact that we have a string trimmer that can be run almost infinitely, if not infinitely. Um, so we're, we're going to be edging around things quite a bit. The reason being, uh, as you can see there, our maximum penalty and fines is only 45 currency. Uh, one collision with the stones is uh, approximately 3 currency. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I think you could hit the stones about 15 times before you fail. Keep in mind, um, there's also a wall you can run into, and what actually happened on one of my playthroughs is I didn't cut the wall well enough, so I got close with the mower, and I think my mower clipped into the wall, and I instant failed the challenge. When I played it again, I ran straight into the wall, and it took off maybe a tenth of my mower's health, so I think I glitched into it, so we're also going to uh, use the string trimmer to cut a little bit further away from the wall than you might need to, just so I avoid that happening on uh, in my recording. Uh, other than that, you do have some flower beds uh, scattered throughout the uh, around the area, so don't save your finds just for uh, the stones. Obviously, if you wind up running into some flowers when you aren't paying attention uh, after you've run into some stones, you could fail. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, as long as you follow along with me, you shouldn't have any problems with that, but uh, just wanted to warn everyone. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to go grab that string trimmer right off the bat and get to edging the outside. So I'm actually going to be in sprint mode, but I'm going to be going rather slow. Once we go around here, there isn't too much to worry about, for the most part, around the edges. Um, uh, real quick, something you should always do is pause it and check your completion target. As you can see, we have a 99% completion target. That's a ton of grass to miss, so you don't have to be too careful as you're edging here. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is get back into sprint mode, and we're going to do my patented circles along the any of the rock walls. Uh, this is going to be a very annoying um, adventure if you are following along with me because we're going to be doing circles for like 10 to 15 minutes. So um, if you don't want to do the circles, you can just try to do like two passes along the wall back and forth if, if you'd rather try that instead of doing the circles because we are going to be using the circles uh, on the stones and I think there's like 25 to 30 stones or something like that that we're going to have to uh, edge as well. So uh, one final thing I did want to say is when I recorded this uh, earlier, the game was struggling to run. So if the, the footage is bad, it may just be that the game was running poorly. Um, I won't know for certain until uh, we start mowing because that's when it happened for me. But, like, some of the string trimmer uh, clippings were really, really fuzzy when I was uh, watching back my previous recording. So, I do apologize if that happens. Uh, I don't really know what else I could do to fix it. If it's a, if the console is struggling to to uh, run the, the level properly, and it may just have not loaded properly but uh, on my previous runs, and you may not even see any problems. But if that does happen, I do apologize. There's not a whole lot I think I can do about that. Once we get over here, again, we're we're not going to worry too much. Even if we do hit a stray flower, we have decent uh, penalty forgiveness here. And the grass isn't all that close to the flower, so you could even potentially run over here with your mower later if you needed to. Another wall to do. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we're about halfway done with the walls, I think. There's a ton of wall on this. And like I said, I was... On my one attempt, I just kind of... I hit it once, and all of a sudden, I was... I was dead. Like, I don't know what happened, if it just clipped into me, or I got my mower clipped into it and took constant damage, but I failed immediately. And I had been watching, because uh, I, I had bumped the wall a couple times before that, and my vehicle condition just plummeted, and I failed it instantly. So that's why we're being a little cautious by the wall. Because even though that happened like 15 or 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, I think, uh, it still made me redo all of the wall circles or wall edging and stuff like that um, and do all the stone circles, excuse me. Which is painful. Again, if the circles are too much, you can just make like two passes straight along if you really want to. And you should be fine. You just need to give yourself enough room so that uh, when you uh, bring your mower over, you don't have to get too close to the wall. We're almost there. In fact, we might be getting close back, uh, coming around to our trailer now. We got a little sloppy there. Uh, don't do that. There we go. We got all of that done. So we're going to head to the stones now. And like I was saying, we're going to do my patented circles all the way around. And again, this is, uh, this is more precautionary than anything else, so we don't have to get too close with our mower. Um, if you really want, don't want to do all the circles, you can, you can try your hand at doing this once and, uh, see if that works for you. Just do one run around each stone instead of uh, doing the circles with me. That's kind of up to you if you want to take that chance. Of course you can. As I said, though, I, uh, I on a previous run, I was far too cavalier around these statues, and I lost like 75% of my penalty damage just from running into these before uh, doing anything else, so... So I am re-recording with a bit of a safer method. There are, I believe three flower beds to cut as well. There's one hidden back here, so don't forget that one. In fact, I may run and go take care of it now, because I've actually forgotten it on my other runs. So we're gonna, we're gonna go run and take care of this right now. This one isn't so bad. You can get most of this with a mower if you do forget it. And as I said, we do have a 99, uh, only a 99% requirement for a cut rating instead of a 99.5 or 99.9. So you, you can leave bits and pieces behind. Uh, you'll, you'll get a good feel for how much a percent is uh, at the end of the video. In fact, if you wanted to skip ahead and see how much grass you could leave behind and still be okay, feel free. But this is, uh, most of the fuel challenges are, videos are really just, uh, an exercise in patience now with the string trimmers. 
Uh, it used to be that you had to be cautious, very cautious with the mower, because while the field challenges didn't have a time limit, you could still, you know, crash your mower into things and destroy flowers and get fines and penalties. And now with the string trimmer, we can cut up against anything with no problem. So we don't have to worry about collision fines very much. And the string trimmer doesn't seem to have like a fuel gauge or a... Maybe it does. And, but I think you could cut most of the lawn with um, with the fuel you're given, or battery, depending on what string trimmer you're given. So, on, on the fuel challenges, you really don't have to be uh, stressed out about finishing as long as you're being cautious, like we are here. And the game just isn't running all that well here. Uh, so I do apologize. It just, it gets all pixelated almost when I'm doing my circles. I'm not very tech savvy, so I'm not really sure what that means. I do apologize for that. Um, but it's a bit... It doesn't make the video look good, so I do apologize for, for that showing up. We're going to run over to this flower bed here. You don't have to be too cautious here because the grass is, again, pretty far away from uh, anything that's damageable. And again, you have a 99, a 1% cut buffer where you could miss 1% of the grass and still pass. So well, with that done, there's one more flower bed over here, and we have these stones we have to... Uh, edge out, so we're going to do that. And again, the clippings just don't look that good on this level. I haven't noticed that in any of my other videos, so I'm not entirely sure why that is on this level specifically. I didn't notice it on the other Ancient Britain challenges, so I don't know. I'm just a simple achievement guide creator. What do I know? Except how to get you achievements. That's what I'm here for. My sole purpose in life. But anyways, at this point, you know the drill. We're gonna um, finish off these rocks, go get the flower bed, and then we'll pull out our mower. Um, really, you just kinda need to watch how I handle the rocks, and then you're basically good to go. Which, we'll move over to the rocks after a couple of laps around the outside if you're looking to just jump and see how I handle those. And then the rest of the, the lawn is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we'll come over to these rocks uh, later. We're going to start with the large section of rocks, and then we'll work our way to these after. But once you see how I handle the first group, you can probably figure out how to handle the other two. Okay, all of the rocks are circled, so we'll run over to this flower bed and take care of it. I am going to stop running for this one, because I've been a little too careless uh, staying in sprint mode. But again, the, I think the flower beds in this are probably able to be cut with a mower. Uh, too, because of how little grass is near the actual flowers. But there it is. We're going to go replace the trimmer and grab our mower. Uh, I, as always, I like to cut in first-person mode, so... We're going to fly off the ramp. Line ourselves up. We need to get six to seven centimeters. And let's go. Just be a little bit cautious. Um, you don't have to worry too much about overloading your engine around the outside, but you don't want to speed in because you may run into the walls and, and clip yourself into the, the brick like apparently I did on my one run. But we're just going to do one lap all the way around the outside of the entire area. 
and then we'll come back uh, to this first section we're at right now and work on that. We want to make sure we edge the entire outside. Uh, that'll help us uh, if we do end up running into the rocks too much and dropping our penalty uh, bar at the bottom left there. We don't want to end up coming back and trying to do the other section up against the wall here and running into it and you know getting some flowers damaged or our engine or I mean uh, our vehicle damaged so we're just gonna edge the entire thing first and then we'll work on the uh, rock formations Make sure you get right up in here. Uh, you can't really see the grass that well, but there is a little bit there that you needed to cut. And now we're back on our second lap. And you do have to watch for overloads, although um, you have uh, an insane forgiveness for uh, engine damage. So you don't have to worry about engine overloads too much. Just uh, follow the, us the usual uh, strategy of kind of tapping the accelerator or taking your finger off the, the right trigger completely. But you won't have to worry about overloading too much. As uh, I usually recommend between 50 and 75 percent grass cut. Uh, we're gonna use this path here to kind of bisect the lawn so we make it a little bit easier. Apparently we destroyed a flower somehow. That was interesting. I didn't think we were even close to that flower garden but uh, when you're driving along here be careful you could uh, overload your engine there. And now you have the lawn bisected. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one more lap. And when we come back around to where the statues are, we're going to start working on uh, mowing around the statues or the monument. Monuments. Apologies for my incorrect terminology. The mower is a bit, uh, oh, what's the word for it? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. It moves more than I expect it to when I tap the analog left or right. Okay, so we're going to get here, and what we're going to do is we're going to drive straight forward, and we're going to try to get as close to these statues as we can. Because um, what you want to kind of do is try to square them up. That way you're not trying to drive around them and get right up next to them. In your, your, no, your uh, neat little patterns are going to go away, but there's nothing you can really do about that. You want to try to get orient yourself and you can do a pass around the backs of them if you want to. Um, but if you come at it like this and go straight, you can kind of almost square off the uh, the s monuments, the stones, without any real rear, excuse me, real fear of turning into one of them. Uh, you could probably do a better job with an overhead view if you wanted to as well. You could, you know, just try it this way. That's probably easier than doing it in first person. That's kind of up to you too. As I said, I like to mow in first person, so that's what I'm going to do, and that's what my strategy is going to reflect. But I can see just from you know what we did there that um, using the overhead camera 
is probably a good strategy if you are having trouble following along uh, with my first person mode. That's just a personal preference of mine. But we've done pretty good so far. We haven't hit any of the statues yet, which is good. Uh, we did hit a few flowers, so our penalties and fines um, bar is lower than maximum. But it hasn't dipped any lower from any of the monument collisions, except for right there. So, one collision... Uh, I don't know if it's really dependent on how fast you were going when you collided. But we're going to do an inner loop around all of these monuments here. Just work our way all the way. And you do have a zero turn mower, which helps quite a bit. But if you see some grass that's really close, you can always try to change the angle you're approaching that stone from. Um, and we're going to be using the uh, pro view to make sure that we've gotten everything. But as I said, you have a 99, only have a 99% requirement, so you can leave quite a bit of grass behind. I think that's most of the stones, if not all of them, done. Uh, let's do a quick look here. It looks like we got everything, most of everything in the center. Again, there were a couple of pieces there that I'm not really that worried about. Um, And driving across the lawn like we did does make it difficult to keep track of everywhere you've cut. So you do need to be a bit thorough around here. This is not quite as organized as some of my uh, other cuts have been because of the uh, fear of penalty. I do apologize. I swear sometimes the my uh first person view camera like resets and tries to aim straight up and it's rather annoying. And now we're going to make another lap around the outside. 
and we'll just cut in and take care of any grass we may have missed. Uh, we accidentally hit the statue again there, but it looks like we were going so fl uh, slow that we didn't take much of a penalty, so... We'll just continue around. We don't have too much more left, I think. And that's the same way we're kind of going to handle the other stones as well. And there we go. We have that entire section finished off. So we'll jump back in to our outer lap here. And uh, we are going to finish this entire side before we uh, jump over to where the other stones are. So... If you want to skip ahead to the other stones, you can do so. But for the most part, the rest of this contract is self-explanatory now. And I do apologize, the frame rate just isn't great when I'm driving along in first-person mode. But I prefer to do it. Sorry about that. Just uh, the far overhead view, I couldn't see where any of the grass was. We turned a little too sharply there, so we're going to back up to take care of it. Uh, again, in the time challenges, you would want to just keep driving and come back to it, but we don't have any time to worry about here. Just some fuel, and you have plenty of fuel. So, In fact, I'm pretty sure we could drive for a couple more miles. Uh, after we finish the contract and still not run out. Um, as I've said in some of the other challenges, that fuel gauge in the bottom right is not very good for determining how much fuel you have left because it actually bends inward. And we're going to clean up this little section here. But if you look at that fuel gauge, uh, usually, and I don't know, maybe this is different in lawnmowers. I've never had a riding lawnmower myself, but the fuel gauge actually bends in when it reaches that bottom left-hand corner. That's not uh, normal in my experience. You think that when the meter gets to the bottom left, that's when it's empty, but in this case, uh, we still have more fuel Even if we reach the bottom left, it bends inward towards the center, and there's still more fuel left. So it's not a good indicator of where you're at, especially if you're used to the fuel gauge that ends in the bottom left. You're probably going to stress out about fuel more than you need to. So just keep repeating what I say. Do not worry about fuel and fuel challenges. As long as you're following a path similar to the ones that I take in these challenges, you will not run out of fuel. Okay. And again, my, my camera just started. It's very weird. Like, sometimes it's me. 
sometimes I'm trying to move the camera left to right and I bump the the joystick up or down. So, like, I'm not saying it's never my fault, but sometimes my, especially when it, it seems like when I go over a, a hill or the the uh, first person camera just starts aiming upward and it's rather annoying and it's probably even worse for uh, those of you watching the video so I do apologize for that. But this is also the bigger of the two sides of the lawn which is why we started with it and uh, the, these stones are far more annoying than the smaller ones in the other lawn, so. Okay, and with that done, we're going to uh, start at the flower bed here. And we're going to edge all the way around this side and work our way all the way around. And we're going to jump into the stones right off the bat. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a ring all the way around the outside of them. And then we're going to reorient ourselves and we're going to do a ring all the way around the inside of them. And with that done, we can start kind of going in and out of the rings. And I, I actually recommend just driving straight across. So you can... Uh, continue on and edge two of the stones at the same time. And you can just do little circles like I'm doing here if you want to. Again, uh, doing so in first person is probably easiest. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about... You can see exactly where your mower is. But as I said, I kind of prefer to mow in first person, so I tend to do that. And that's everything done, so we're going to switch back into first person and uh, just finish off the center portion. And then we're going to uh, return to our lap. And uh, uh, over on this side, we're going to edge the flower bed when we come near it as well. And then everything else is just a matter of uh, making our laps. We did destroy a flower, but we literally have nothing else uh, to really get penalized for now, other than turning too sharply and damaging the ground. Or if you stop paying attention and drive straight into a wall or flower bed, I suppose. But uh, you shouldn't have to worry about any of those obstacles anymore. And as I said, we really don't have to worry all that much about uh, overloading the engine. did miss a little bit there. The, the turning is almost too responsive. 
uh, for my liking. But even turning the sensitivity down as far as I could didn't really make a difference. I think I have it all the way down to 60%, which is the lowest it lets you go. It's a little weird, but... Um, I did it specifically to try to help with uh, using the string trimmers. But it, it didn't do a whole lot, to, uh, at least uh, for me. It didn't seem like it made that much of a difference. And that's basically it, folks. I'm going to be relatively quiet the rest of the way. There's not a whole lot to add here. If you're playing the DLC challenges, you already have a pretty good idea of what you're going to be doing. And uh, to be completely honest, the DLC challenges are significantly easier than any of the base... or than the base game challenges of the same level. What I mean is uh, there's one apprentice to professional or one amateur, excuse me, two professional, and one expert challenge, and they are all far easier than the base game amateur, uh, professional, and expert. The only one I found that was uh, comparative in difficulty was the amateur one, actually. Um, but really, none of them should pose any of a problem to any of you who have done the base game challenges. Approaching 75% overall. And I'm just going to shut up for the rest of this. I will pop back in when we're about to finish.
And there we go, folks. 99%. Look at how much grass is in a full percent. Now, granted, that is different uh, depending on um, whatever lawn you're mowing. But uh, that's how much a whole percentage point of grass is on this course. So um, on other courses, when you're told 1%, you have a half percent or a 0.1%, it kind of gives you an idea of how much uh, wiggle room you have to leave grass behind. But we're going to pull onto the ramp and go to our truck and leave the area. As always, folks, if you have any questions or comments for me, uh, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. But if not, I will see you guys next time.